Let's not I call natural selection and start with a song. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people to show for the praises of him who has called us out of darkness, out of darkness, out of darkness, into his marvelous light, into his marvelous light. I know when we talk about natural selection, uh, the idea basically from Darwin is that uh, those uh, organisms that are better able to adapt are the ones that would thrive. But let's start with prophetic word of knowledge. I see a fault finder, very critical person. You want to be aware of, we want to be avoid those kinds of people. Uh, but when it comes to the things of the gospel, uh, it's not always natural selection. That's why I said, nah, First Corinthians 1 verse 26, brothers, consider the time of your calling. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of the world to shape the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shape the strong. This is because if people have already made it and they come into the kingdom, they can actually begin to feel like it's my wisdom, it's my knowledge, it's my wealth that has made me a success. But God chooses people that, you know, are basically, they don't look like they are going to do wonders. But the moment they submit to God, they are able to do a lot of wonders, signs. And you see this in terms of the apostles. Uh, some of them were, you know, <laughs> in fact, they were they, they could not even they were not even worthy to be uh, in the ministry, but they became bold, enabled by the spirit of God. David was chosen. Is there were there were brothers that looked regal and majestic, but God didn't choose any of them. So the woman God has chosen you know that He has great things in store for you, because this is supernatural selection. And there's nothing better than this.